Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Blackout EMB pack and everything else that I had on my modded Fallout 3 video due to a request from someone named, uh, I'm not going to release his name. If you want to see it, just go to my other video, blah blah blah. Okay, so go to Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. Open it. Go to options. Just need to... Okay. Now uh, just turn off anti-aliasing. Turn your resolution to what you want it to. Turn it to everything. Why does it still say GTX 760? It should be 780. <sighs> Thank you, glitchy computer. Thank you. Uh, I want you to turn off the anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering, the and if you didn't catch what I did there, hit advanced, turn off depth of field, and transparency multi-sampling, because that is a form of anti-aliasing, and turn off the water displacement. Once you do that, look at the screen effects, turn on HDR, because you can only select one of these, click on the HDR, you need that to be on. And I usually click vertical sync, I don't go windowed, Okay, so from here, just hit OK, exit out. Now from here, before we actually go to the installer, go over to your, sorry, go over to Documents, which is located on the Windows logo. Click Documents, go into My Games, click Fallout 3, go to the Fallout Preferences, and scroll down until you find this line right here. I what I want you to do is type in instead of zero put one for B use threaded AI equals one not equals zero equals one and right below that type in this line right here I num HW threads equals two this will make the game a lot more stable so it only uses two cores instead of all like seven I I have a six core processor so AMD FX 6300 sucks balls don't buy it okay so from here after you do the after you do these pause the video right now if you did not do this already and just type these in so after you do that go to file save exit out of that you don't need to do anything else in here so just exit out of that entirely and go to computer now navigate to your steam files or your steam games Mine's in the Steam Apps folder, so Steam Apps Common folder. Now go to Fallout 3 Goatee. First, what I want you to do is extract the open archive for this and extract the Blackout EMB pack for Fallout 3 onto your desktop and the Fallout Script Extender onto your desktop because you will need both of these. Now once you do that, you can just drag and drop these into there. And then from the EMB series, I want you to pull out the wrapper version. And you can also delete this once you do that. Keep the wrapper version though, that's all you need. So just once you're in here, just do what I did and drag it over there. It gives you more space to work in. So open FOSE. Before you drag and drop any of these, check with your Fallout 3. Check to see if everything's what I told it to be, what I told you to turn it to. Just going to show everything once again. Oh, and turn off water displacement. I think I might have mentioned that, but if I didn't, I'm sorry. So, once you do that, you can just exit of that. Now, go to your FOSE. That was lag on my desktop behalf uh, thanks desktop thanks just cut and paste Cop, uh, just paste it change the FOSE loader to the fallout launcher what you want to do is go to Fallout Launcher, change it to falloutlauncher.exe.backup, hit enter, go down to FOSE Loader, rename it to Fallout Launcher,
.exe. There you have it. So from here, because I'm an idiot and already did this like eight times, you can just delete this. If you're not recording, I swear to God. Okay. So from here, go into the blackout pack for EMB. Go into vanilla, baseline, night vision. No night vision, that is. Now, drag EMB bloom and everything else. So highlight everything and drag and drop into here. Move it to Fallout 3 Goatee. Once you do that, if you want to use uh, SMAA, which is NVIDIA, I believe, uh, you can change the injector. You can I have it at Ultra because this game's not really that hard to run for me, and I'm using a 780. So just drag and drop that right above the other highlighted stuff. It will not do this for you because I already did this and I just deleted everything that was part of it. So, once you do that, you don't really need this anymore, because you won't have the files in there, or in there. So you can just delete this entirely. Now go into your wrapper version, all you need is this file right here. That's the only file that you need from here. Just drag it right over to here, it'll come down, it'll be in your Fallout 3. This is the actual shading program, this is just presets. Okay, so you can just delete that then, just run Fallout 3 to see if it looks like what I'm about to show you. Please do not fuck up on me OBS, or I will fucking hate you. And we're back. As you can see in the upper right corner, this is how you know it's working. Uh, I'm just gonna not load through the cut through the uh, loading screen, so you guys get the entire thing. Continue from your last. What you want to do is go to a save that you care nothing about, and just load it up. See if it's working, and go here. As you can see, everything looks better already from the original game. My mouse is being a total asshole right now. I can't pull anything above this. So if you look around, you see that everything is better looking. So we're just going to go over to the house that I was originally at first. And look, I hate this thing. We're just going to look at the house and the stop sign. So, from here, hit shift enter, pause the game, uh, this is the end, uh, what you have here is the configuration for the EMB. Just scroll down, look for enable depth of field, click on that, and you're good. I'm not sure what these two things do, but you can turn them on if you want to, I don't because I'm afraid it might burn out my video card. Yeah. So, from did I save the configuration? Or I guess you don't need to save it, but I would probably just hit save just in case. And you can exit out and it enables depth of field. As you can see. Okay, so I just killed the robot and I'm back. So, as you can see, if you watch the other video, you can see that this is the area that I was in. You can already see the depth of field kicking in. So. From here, you're going to, hold on, I just want to check something quickly. Okay. So as you can see, there is solar flare now. It's coming from right here. There's a mod that I use to maximize this. So you can just exit out of the game. Go back to your desktop. And... Go into Nexus Mod Manager. Just give it a second to load. Now, if you were if you watch the other video, you shouldn't have to worry about this. Just before you install anything else, go down to Utilities and install Archive and Validation and Validate it, and check to see if 
this is on. If it is, congratulations, you have basically successfully put this mod in. So I'll just put in NMC's textured for, FO for Fallout 3, I'm not going to do that because it takes forever. And then you could just put in any mod that you want and it'll be working perfectly fine. Exit out, exit out, and I'll see you in game. So we're in game, and as you can see, everything looks all pretty. If you have uh, Project Reality installed, if you want to get this squiggly shit off the screen, which is really annoying, just go into your items, apparel, and Project Reality Mark 1. It opens visual effects, and you can... I usually turn off all of this besides motion blur. Just turn it all off besides motion blur if you want to keep it on because it makes the game look pretty pretty the motion blur that is you, you can barely see it so because of YouTube's measly 30 frames a second and there you go if you followed everything correctly in this video uh, then you successfully installed this and it'll your game will look like this and play like this most likely. Uh, I'm getting pretty low frame rate. I don't know why. I oh because I'm using window record, uh, and that really takes a toll. As you can see, you don't want to use window record or monitor record because all it does is record your monitor and it's total shit. I use game record and that actually doesn't take nearly as much effort to record. So there you have it. Fallout 3, make it all pretty edition. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more stuff like this. I'll probably be doing one for Skyrim with my custom modded Skyrim. And it looks pretty fucking amazing, I must admit. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, do whatever the fuck you want. It's a free world, it's a free country, I can't tell you what to do. See y'all later.